hey everyone you're yeah, welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i'm going to share this special native soup of my witty guys this is our special white soup or unsala soup whatever name you call it if you have never enjoyed unsala soup before this soup is going to change your opinion about unsala soup i'm very sure about this it is very tasty and you are going to get addicted to this soup let me tell you this is not the soup you go about preparing anyhow or even any day it's only made on special occasion or event i remember back then in the days when the umar does they go for many ceremonies and we usually serve them this white soup though first of all look at it check whether you prepared it well whether the whole thing is well rhymed together and if it's not they will return it back and they will find you for it <laughs> so guys i'm going to take you on how to make this delicious masala soup but before i go ahead into the recipe proper my name is grace for those hearing this voice for the first time i make recipes that are very simple but very delicious make sure you hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel thank you now to the preparation proper in my pot i'll be pouring in my chicken i've using chicken to prepare this and i've already washed and cleaned up everything we're using in this recipe i've also added in my stock fish i just figured that the pot will be very small for this so i switched over to this pot so here i've already added in my salt i'll be going in with my seasoning powder and i'll be adding some blended crayfish see if you don't add crayfish to your soups when you're boiling your meat you should try it out because it's actually give the soup very good flavor from the start so I'll add water big enough to cook this all the way through and inside this i'll be adding in the yam we're using as a thickener i've already peeled and washed the yam i will cover the pot and i'll allow all this to cook together 30 minutes later the yam is already very soft so i'm just going to take out the yam from the pot into my food processor i'll be blending this off camera i will come back to it and another alternative you can use for the chicken is your fresh catfish fresh catfish works very fine with this recipe too so if you don't like chicken you can replace that with a fresh catfish a fresh one <laughs> emphasis on the fresh one <laughs> I will stir this together to make sure that no yam is left in our pot of masala soup. So once that is done, I'll be adding in my deboned dried fish. So I've already washed the fish and deboned it. So I'll be adding in my dried pepper. I will stir this together, cover the pot and continue cooking. So once this is cooking, we go ahead now to prepare the egusi balls. This is very important in this recipe and to prepare this egusi bowl i'm using my blended melon i blended it with obey so if you've seen some black things in it i'm adding salt and seasoning powder so i'm just going to first of all mix everything together properly and everything that is done here is done with your hands so you just have to first of all wash your hands very thoroughly before you proceed with this preparation so i'm just going to mix up this together before we go into the tedious process i always viewed this as a tedious process back then but now i think i just found a way around it to make it very easy so we're adding in our lukewarm water we're using few drops at a time you don't just go ahead pour in water as if you are preparing egusi soup no so i will use my palm and mix the egusi to form it into a dough You are just going to keep kneading it so the oil starts coming out. There are joy, you know that egusi contains a lot of oil. And this is just about 3 and over 4 cups of egusi that we are using for this. So I will keep squeezing it till I'm sure that the whole oil in this is being extracted. Now 
this will make the balls remain so firm in your pot and it can never scatter <laughs> no matter what it remains like that and most times we just prepare this if it's for a big event you just prepare this a day before cook it and it is it remains like that just add it to the soup <laughs> The oil you got in from this can be used to prepare your regular egusi soup and as you can see, see the quantity of oil we got from this. If you have kept insisting more, we'll get more oil but we are good to start molding our melon now. This is being molded the same regular way you just shape your balls just put in your hands turn it and you are good to go and if your hand is becoming too sticky you can just wet your hand with some bomb water and continue so i'm just going to mold this into balls so we have exhausted our exit Once we are done with the goosey ball, I will pour it into the pot. See how it's looking? I will pour it into the pot, cover the pot immediately, no stirring, and we'll continue cooking. After about 15 minutes, the egusi balls have solidified and they are well cooked now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir up this and see how it goes <laughs> you can see the goosey ball is done at this point you should test for salt and adjust your seasoning if there is any need but there was no need in this case so i carried on with the cooking i'll be adding in the yam we took out from this for blending this yam is going to act as a thickener for this soup so i'm just going to cover the pot and I will allow it to dissolve. I removed the remaining lump of yam that couldn't dissolve because I feel that this consistency is enough because anything other than this, you're already making a porridge and no longer a salad soup again. So I'm just going to stir this up together. See the consistency that we have. It is just so perfect. It is not thick it is not thin it's just in between so we're finishing this up with some fresh ozoza leaves this takes the taste and aroma to that level at this point yeah your neighbors should know that something delicious is happening in your kitchen i will leave this for just few seconds before turning off the heat i just want the aroma of this ozoza leaves to really come out more before we turn off the heat just take a look at this soup just lego this soup hey then you know why you won't lick your fingers when you prepare this and i'll be serving this with correct pounded yam not pando correct pounded yam this is that premium enjoyment you've been looking for serve this on your special event special location and watch your guests lick their fingers too as you can see, it is very simple to prepare, but the difference is in the taste. So when you recreate this, please do well to tag me on my Instagram handle at Grace Value. I would like to repost it all. Thank you for watching this video to this point. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and share my recipes. I will see you guys in my next video. And if you've not yet subscribed, if you are still having doubts, I think this is the right time for you to hit the subscribe button. I would love to see you guys in my next video. For now, bye.